was I not able to do when he said I can do all things? Why was I not able to get this thing I was looking out for? When he said, I have all things, he said he has blessed me with all spiritual blessings. So how come I did not get it? Jesus said, because of your unbelief. For as shortly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible. That means... Not getting an answer is dependent on we not having faith. Faith is not just saying, I believe. Faith is settling it in your mind that it is done. A lot of times we say we have faith, but we keep checking to see if it has happened. Faith does not check if it has happened. Faith says it and it is done. So the statement of Jesus here made it clear that if it, if it does not work, then it wasn't faith. Because from this statement, it means faith will always produce. Always. He has said none of his words will ever go unfulfilled. None. He said he honors his word more than his names. More than the names we call him. He honors his word more than them. If we now look at this very well, he said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, if you have faith as a mustard seed, mustard seed is very small, very little. But do you know that from every seed comes the tree? When you're looking at the seed, it doesn't look as if there is something big in it. But just put it in the soil. Let that seed fall inside the soil. What does it do? It grows into something big. It is from the tree that you now have the stem, you have the roots, you have the leaves. It is from that same small seed. So he's saying that if we have faith as a mustard seed, we will say to this mountain, move from there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible. Most times we do not say so. Let me give an illustration. If I tell my brother here, please go and say to the sister at the back that she should come to the front. Do you think he would go there and say, hello, sir, you, I was told to tell you to come to the front. Then he would not start describing the front to him. So the front where you have the pastorate, you see that seat that has hands like this, that seat that does not have... He doesn't describe, he just said to. It is an instruction, say to, to come to the front. But most times, we do not say to the problem. We do not say to the issue. We talk about these issues instead of saying to them. Most times, we begin to describe how the issue is to God. We begin to say, this problem has actually cost me a lot. Hey, imagine I, I did this. Imagine it is going this way. He did not say we should talk about the mountain. He said, say to the mountain. Say to the mountain. Move from here to there. And he says, it will move and nothing will be impossible. And when he said we should have faith as a mustard seed, he did not say we should have great faith. He didn't say for you to get answers. He didn't say for, for things to be possible to you, for everything to be possible to you. He did not say you must have great faith. He said faith like a mustard seed. Some will say, I don't have faith. We all have faith because he said a measure of faith has been given to every one of us. So most times we feel that I must have faith, I must build my faith to, to the level of level of the pastor. So that no, the faith you have, you use it. When you start using it, that is when it will produce, and from producing it will multiply, it will begin to grow. As you use it, that is how it grows. The law of use states that whatever you do not use, you will lose. It is just a matter of time. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed that has been given to you, if you have that measure of faith that Christ has given to you and you do not put it to use, it is just a matter of time it will fizzle out. So use the faith. How do you grow your faith? He said faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. The word of God is the only way you can grow your faith. That is why I want you to pray the word of God today. 
I want us to pray from the scriptures today. In the next 20 minutes, we are going to be praying. And I will be calling out the scriptures. We read the scriptures together. We look at it together. And we turn that scripture to prayer. Make sure it is settled in your mind that you have faith. No matter how little it is, it is ready to produce for you once you put it to use. Do not add any form of unbelief. Remember Abraham. He was still Abraham at that time. When God told him, look at the stars. Can you count them? He said, as you cannot count them, so will what? Not blessings. So will your seed be. It didn't look like it at that time. But the Bible recorded it in, in Genesis chapter 15, verse 5, that Abraham believed. It did not look like it. So it doesn't have to look like it before you say it and believe it. It is when you believe it that it begins to manifest. What is it settled in your mind? It begins to show forth. 